Hello boys and girls, happy Thursday. Uh, today is one of our math mini lessons. So we're just going to review a lot of the skills that you've already learned and you're going to show me how smart you are. Um, some things we're going to practice are teen numbers and 3D shapes, um, adding and um, counting on or finding mystery numbers, not necessarily starting at one. So um, counting on from any, any spot to find a mystery number. But we're going to start first with a little mini calendar because guess what? Yesterday was a new month. Yes, it's a new month. And you know when we have a new month, we have to sing our month song. I don't know if you remember it. So, um, just sing with me if you know. If not, we'll sing it again, okay? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Okay, you ready to sing with me? Going to warm up our voices. I should have done that, right? Let's see. Me, 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 me. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Right? Oop, I forgot to show you. These are the months of the year. Right. Okay, so I said it was a new month. Um, last month was March. March is right here. If last month which was March, what do you think this month is? Yes, very good. April. So it is April. April 2nd today, to be specific. And guess what? It's my husband's birthday. So um, happy birthday to him. But yes, so this is a new month. It is April. And do you know what day of the week it is? <gasps> days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Do you know that one? Do you sing that in your room? We sing it in our room. All right, um, see if you can do it with me. Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job. Okay, so what is today? It is good. It's Thursday. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday, or in this case, yesterday? Very good, Wednesday. And what will tomorrow be? Friday, very good. So today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020 or 2020. All right, so that's a little mini calendar, even though I don't have my calendar here. You can see we at least practiced our months and our days of the week. All right, so next we're going to do teen numbers. Remember with teen numbers, a teen number, this one in 17 stands for one ten. There's one group of 10, right? So 17 means it's 10 plus seven. And 12 means it's 10 plus two. So I'm going to give you a math fact, a 10 plus something, and you're going to tell me what teen number it is. Okay, ready? 10 plus 3, 13. Good job. 10 plus 6, 16. Good job. 10 plus 9, 19. Very good. I could do it the other way too, right? I could say 2 plus 10, which is the same as 10 plus 2. 12, good job. 10 plus 5, 15, awesome. 10 plus 8, 
18. So smart. 10 plus 1. 11. 4 plus 10. Or 10 plus 4. 14. 10 plus 7. 17. And 10 plus 10. 20. I tricked you, right? It's not really a teen number because in this case it has two tens, right? This two in 20 stands for two tens. Unlike these teen numbers all had one ten, 20 has two tens, right? 10, 20. All right, good job. Next, we're going to find the 3D shape, okay? I'm going to show you a picture, and you're going to tell me the name of the shape. Ready? Cone, good. Sphere. Awesome. Cube. Cylinder, super job. Sphere, woo woo. Cube, right? It's in its name. Ice cube. Cone. Super duper. Sphere. Awesome. Cylinder. Amazing. Cone. All right. Looks like a triangle, but remember that curve at the bottom makes it, you know it is a solid shape. Cube, and finally, cylinder. Lots of jars are cylinder shaped, right? Now, we talked about cubes and cylinders and cones and spheres. We found a lot of them in all these pictures, right? But there's two 3D or solid shapes that weren't on my pictures. Do you know what they are? Okay, tell me on the count of three, because I didn't hear you a little bit louder. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, very good. Awesome. I heard pyramid, right? Our pyramid, our square-based pyramid. Um, and I also heard rectangular prism, right? Which is like that cube that we stretch out. We take this cube that has six square faces and we stretch it out to make a rectangular prism. Good. All right, awesome. All righty. Next thing we're going to do, um, get on. Well, you don't have to get on your lily pads, but we're going to practice adding. And remember, when we add, plus zeros are just like minus zeros, like we practiced the other day. You're not adding anything, so your number stays the same. Easy peasy. And plus ones are easy, too, because we just have to think of the number that we're adding to one. And we just think one more, right? So like this case, two plus one, we think what's one more than two? Three, easy peasy. Now I know we're only going up to five. Super easy for some of you, a little tricky for others, and that's okay. We're all learning at our own pace. But the reason why I keep doing these easy ones is because you have to know them just like that. You have to train your brain, like I always say, so you don't even have to think about it. It's just there. So that's why we're practicing these. Um, we'll practice some harder math facts, plus and minuses, but for right now we're doing easy ones so you can train your brain so you know them just like that. So I know Miss Penny's been working on insects with you. So when you get an easy peasy plus one, I want you to stand up and say the fact and flap your wings like a butterfly, but you got to flap, flap, and come back down for the next one super quick. Okay, ready? T was one. Three. Good job. Three plus two, five, super. Zero plus two, two. One plus one, two. Did you flap? Did you get up and flap? Good job. Four plus one, five, super. Two plus two, four, awesome. Zero plus zero, zero. That's an easy one. One plus four. 
five and it wasn't a plus one, but you saw that plus one, you, even though that number was on the bottom, I hope you started with the bigger number and said, oh, easy, one more than four, five. So even if it's not plus one, if the one's on the top, you can flop like a butterfly for that one. Okay, one plus four is five again. Zero plus one, one. You could flap or not. It's a plus one, but it's also an easy zero, right? Two plus three, five. Good. Zero plus five, five. Awesome. One plus three, four. Good job. Zero plus four, four. Super. One plus two, three. Good job. Zero plus three, three. Three plus one, four. Two plus one, three. Three plus two, five. And I think we already did all those. Okay, so our last little thing for learning today is, I know so many of you can count to 100. Um, which is awesome. Uh, this time you only, we are only working on numbers through 25. So if you look at my paper here, you can see that there's, there's numbers 1 through 25, except some of the numbers are missing. That's why it's mystery numbers, because these cute little sea creatures are taking the place of the numbers. So I am going to pick one of these randomly and you're going to tell me what number that animal is taking the place of. Okay, we'll do one together so you see what I mean. So if I show you this octopus, find the octopus right here, it's right here, and you have to look at the number before it or after it. Oh, this one won't help us because it's a fish, right? So look at the number before. And so what's one, What's right after 17? 18, right, except we're going to go much faster than that, okay? Ready, this one. Nine, awesome. And this one? 23, super. How about the turtle? 11. Good job. Whale. 25. Super. Mr. Crab. Too easy. 3. What about this one? Let me hear ya. 5. Super. What about Purple Dolphin? 16. Super. What about Shark? 22, amazing. What about this cute fish? 19, good job. What about the seahorse? 7, and finally our last one, this cute purple fish. 13, yay! How'd you do with that? I know I didn't give you a very long time, but I knew most of you could do it like that. And if not, I hope you pause the video. But anyways, that's our mini math lesson for today. You did an amazing job. Um, I haven't done the Harry Potter cheer in a while. I'm so proud of you. If you want to do it with me, take out your magic wand, right? And say your pish, pish, pish. Wonderfully and magically amazing. Poof! Whoosh! All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next time for another math lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.